A new trials reward is available in the special special shipments chest. Nice. Okay. So find a way forward. Okay, that's not going to be tough to do, is it? <laughs> Unless it's there's going to be dark spawn and we're going to or not, never mind. Okay, Ghost Ninja, thank you very much for dropping by, man. Have a uh, have a wonderful day. There. Uh, there. Whoa, Mark of the Rift. You have gained the Mark of the Rift, a focus-based ability. Uh. <laughs> Bye, man. Uh, Mark of the Rift causes massive damage and can even kill some enemies instantly. Okay. Mark of the Rift is a focus-based ability. Focuses a resource that is gained each time someone in your party deals damage. Each party member has a personal focus meter, but all party members gain focus when a single member deals damage. That is great. That is great. Okay. And now what? I thought there were more, that's why I... Okay. I'm talking to myself now. Is there anything in here? Nope, there isn't. Okay. to get uh, to the other side, but, uh, okay. I have to place it right on, yeah. That's the thing, I thought there were more than just two. And that's why I placed it like there, because I thought I would get more than just, you know, yeah, anyway. I'll use it properly next time, hopefully. And now everyone will have their specialization, that's cool. Is there something in here? Yeah, there is. It's cold. Nothing. What triggered this, like, storm? Because we only destroyed a mountain. That's. <laughs> Now everyone will have their specialization. Gotcha. The funny thing would be if you would move around these uh, this these parts right here, and you would get like a random random chest with amazing loot in it. <clears throat> K. 
Okay. Numbers. Recent. Okay, so they must be here somewhere. This thing doesn't even work. You're going further up. Ah, I'm going further up the mountain, that's why I got you now. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that makes sense then. Because I thought we were uh, at the same level and I was like, what? Why? What's with the storm here? If Oh, oh, oh. There, it's him. There they are. Thank the maker. Okay, guys, were you hiding behind the corner there, waiting for me? What would you have me tell them? This isn't what we asked them to do. We cannot simply ignore this. We must find a way. Oh my god, what's and going on? And who put on you in charge? We need a consensus so we have nothing. Please, we must use reason. Without the infrastructure of the Inquisition, we're hobbled. I can't come from nowhere. She didn't say it could. Enough! This is getting us nowhere. It is well, getting you nowhere. Shh. You need to rest. They've been at it for hours. They have that luxury thanks to you. The enemy could not follow. And with time to doubt, we turn to blame. Infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. Do we know where Corypheus and his forces are? We are not sure where we are. Which may be why, despite the numbers he still commands, there is no sign of him. That, or you are believed dead. <laughs> or without Haven, we are thought helpless. Or he girls for another attack. I cannot claim to know the mind of that creature. Only his effect on us. <laughs> They're arguing about what we do next. I need to be there. Another heated voice won't help. Even yours. Perhaps especially yours. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. We saw our defender stand and fall. And now we have seen him return. Mm -hmm. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear. And the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure. What we perhaps must come to believe. I escaped the avalanche. Barely, perhaps, but I didn't die. Of course. And the dead cannot return from across the veil. But the people know what they saw. Or perhaps what they needed to see. Mm, the Maker see. works both in the moment and in how it is remembered. Can we truly know the heavens are not with us? Hmm. You saw Corypheus. What do you think of his claims of assaulting the heavens? Scripture says magisters, to winter servants of false old gods, entered the Fade to reach the Golden City, seat of the Maker. For their crime, they were cast out as darkspawn. Their hubis is why we suffer blight, and why the Maker turned from us. If such is the claim of this Corypheus, he is a monster beyond imagining. All mankind continues to suffer for that sin. If even a shred of it is true, all the more reason Andraste would choose someone to rise against him. Right. He did say the heavens are, are, are empty. Corypheus though. said he found only corruption and emptiness. Nothing golden. <laughs> if he entered that place, it has changed him without and within. The living are not meant to make that journey. Perhaps these are lies he must tell himself, rather than accept that he earned the scorn of the Maker. I know I could not bear such. Mother Giselle, I just don't see how what I believe matters. 
Lies or not, Corypheus is a real physical threat. You can't match that with hope alone. So let's have a chat with these guys and see what they're fighting about. Oh, they're already quiet now. How's that gonna help anything? An army needs more than an enemy. It needs a cause. A word. Mm hmm <laughs> He always looks like Spock. Exactly. That's exactly right, <laughs> Bronwyn Michelle. <laughs> A wise woman, worth heeding. Her kind understand the moments that unify a cause. Or fracture it. The orb Corypheus carried, the power he used against you, it is Elven. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. I do not yet know how Corypheus survived. Nor am I certain how people will react when they learn of the orb's origin. Hmm. <laughs> and how do you know this? All right. What is it, and how do you know about it? They were foci, used to channel ancient magics. I have seen such things in the Fade, old memories of older magic. Corypheus may think it to Vint. His empire's magic was built on the bones of my people. Knowing or not, he risks our alliance. I cannot allow it. Hmm. This whole mess is confusing. I can see how elves might be an easy target. History would agree. But there are steps we can take to prevent such a distraction. Such as... By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed it. Changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guide. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow. Okay. Oh, 
Nice. Okay. Whose castle is this? Sky. Skyhold. Haven and Skyhold. Interesting names. Nice. Yeah, the music is very, very nice. I just lowered it, unfortunately, so... Yeah. But it's, uh, yeah. Interesting. Skyhold. They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. That's good. But we if can't... If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus. What drew him to you? Yep. Right. So. My effort for the Inquisition. He wanted the anchor. It was Andraste's blessing. He's insane. Who cares? <laughs> I don't think I want to tell her about the anchor. This all began with Andraste's blessing. It was that simple. Yet did her blessing grant you worthiness? Or was it given because you were already worthy? Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. Look at that. The one who has already been leading it. Okay. So now I'm officially going to be the leader of the Inquisition. You. <laughs> I don't think I heard you right. You want a Canari as your leader? We want to make official what is already the case. But our history... I am aware of how this looks. Yet you are not your people. You are an individual. Perhaps that is part of your strength. Without you, there is no Inquisition. We all must accept that. But how you lead us, that is entirely up to you. No pressure. <laughs> Nice sword. <clears throat> A canary will stand for us all. That sounds... Why? What the hell? I don't think I want to say that. Oh, shit. This isn't about a greater message. We have an enemy, and we have to stand together. We'll do what is right. The Inquisition will fight for all of us. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? <laughs> will you fight? Okay. Will we triumph? Your leader, your herald, your inquisitor! Hmm. 
<laughs> Time to clean up the place and get settled in, huh? So this is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Okay. Hold on a second. Is his dragon an archdemon? I don't think so, but we'll ask the question. Could his dragon really be an archdemon? What would that mean? It would mean the beginning of another blight. We've seen no darkspawn other than Corypheus himself. Perhaps it's not an archdemon at all, but something different? Well, I've seen Whatever it darkspawn. is, it's dangerous. Commanding such a creature gives Corypheus an advantage we can't ignore. What do you mean you haven't seen darkspawn? I mean, you haven't seen darkspawn with him, but... Corypheus wants to restore to Vinter. Is this a prelude to war with the Imperium? I get the feeling we're dealing with extremists, not the vanguard of a true invasion. Tevinter is not the Imperium of a thousand years ago. What Corypheus yearns to restore no longer exists. Though they would shed no tears if the South fell to chaos, I'm certain. Corypheus said he wanted to enter the Black City, that this would make him a god. He is willing to tear this world apart to reach the next. It won't matter if he's wrong. What if he's not wrong? If he finds some other way into the Fade? Then he gains the power he seeks, or unleashes catastrophe on us all. Could he strike at us here? We can't have a repeat of what happened at Haven. Skyhold has the bones to withstand Corypheus. After what you did with one trebuchet, I'd bet against direct attack. Mm -hmm. We do have one advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. In that strange future you experienced, Empress Selene had been assassinated. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army. An army he'll bolster with a massive force of demons, or so the future tells us. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Uh, everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. She's crossed Hawk. paths with Corypheus before oh, and may know god. more about what he's doing. She can help. That's, this is Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Great. <clears throat> I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Uh, parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately, on the battlements. Trust me, it's complicated. Well, then, uh, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your <laughs> order, Inquisitor. I know one thing. If Varric has brought who I think he has, Cassandra is going to kill him. <laughs> nice. All this right. Is the Inquisition, a dusty old ruin filled with battered soldiers. If you shut your mouth and open your eyes, you'd see that the Inquisition is our one hope. What is this here? Undercroft. What is this? What did they make down here? What is going Can on I here? Make? Hard in Hightown Chapter 6. Holy Jesus, okay. The estates of Hightown fall into three types. The Dwarven palaces in their enclave, huddled around their counterfeit paragon statues for shelter against the onslaught of human ideas that surround them. The foreign quarter, where the wealthiest Orlesian and Antivan merchants stay during their twice yearly visits to criticize the ship captains and shop clerks and accountants in their employ. And the noble mansions, where families who can trace their lineage back to Orlesian conquerors 
uh, and Tevinter landlords perched to look down on the rabble of ordinary folk scurrying at their feet. But whoever they belong to, all of the high town estates have two things in common. A showy front entrance, <clears throat> sorry, used when the occupants want to be seen and a hidden back way when they don't. The servant's door to the Comte de Favre's mansion was in an alley hidden by overgrown topier topieries. Uh, Donan Brenkovich, Brenkovic, sorry, uh, picked the lock while his partner, Jevlan, kept an uneasy lookout. They had left their armor at, at the barracks, but even in civilian clothes, the, uh, the recruit managed to look like he was wearing an older brother's hand-me-downs. Uh, I don't think this is what the captain meant when she said to get evidence, he muttered. The lock clicked and Donan gently pushed it open. Only a few slivers of light slid through the shuttered windows. Silence hung in the air like a cheap tapestry. Donan and Jevlin crept through the dark rooms, alert for any sign of servants, but nothing broke the eerie quiet except their footsteps. In fact, there was no sign that anyone had been in the house at all until they found the room whose door had been torn from its hinges. Inside the Comte uh, lay in a pool of blood, one hand clutching a loaded crossbow, a dagger hilt protruding from his back. Great. Get the alchemist fast. Now you can make super arms and armor if you get fate touched items. Right, okay. We have storage as well. I've walked away from too many burning buildings for one lifetime. This place, though, it'll be alright. It's Inquisitor now, isn't it? That'll take some getting used to. <laughs> Everyone needs time for this transition. Time won't help. Purpose does. And I got a load of it. Everyone just got a big hard reason to hate Corypheus. And we already did, but we didn't have a name. You're the surprise, not him. Did you bring anything from Haven? We left in a hurry, but you got into your old place. Save anything? Family Ammer. It's as stupid as it sounds. It's good to be back at work. Nice. How is this place shaping up as a forge? Better than Haven ever could be. Not the way I wanted an upgrade, but ever forward. Have you any thoughts about the people we lost at Haven? Flissa. So sad. Too young. The rest of us go on. It's what we have to do. You gave us the chance. Thanks for that. You've got it all up and running? Your basics, like always. There's space here for... I don't know what. <clears throat> This place was built for something big. It'll be a job to fill it. Nice. I'll be back later. I'll be here. I just want to look around here for a second. Skyhold. What? Use the workbench in Skyhold Undercraft to plan out the design of the castle. Hello. Change the Inquisition banner. Oh my god. Okay. Damn. Okay, I don't want to do that. Bed, change the centerpiece in the Inquisitor's quarters. Frostback basin, parvolon. Oh, Jesus, okay. Drapery, heraldry, decor. Frostback basin or parvolon. What the hell? Throne. Personalize the seat of power in the Great Hall and windows install stained glass windows in the Inquisition quarters. Ferelden or Inquisition. And I have Frostback Basin as well. Okay, I'll, I'll have to look into these. That's interesting. Craft weapons in here. Craft armor. What is this? Special shipments. I got a bunch of things. Buy and sell here. T tint armor. Oh, I can even tint it now. That sounds good. Okay. <clears throat> well, I mean, we can fast travel from here. Okay. What else do we have here? What is this? Nope, I can't go in here at all.
Uh, okay, this is your office. Right. Okay, we'll, we'll get to everybody. But... Oh, snaps. From the ashes. Okay. The war room is here. Welcome to Skyhold. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, man. We got a merchant in here. Right, okay. <clears throat> People to talk to. I just want to look around for a second. Damn. Look at this place. It's a bloody palace, it is. I know, man, right? Fit for a king, eh? <laughs> or an inquisitor. I mean, you know. <clears throat> the order was sent? Yes, Commander. What is this? Look for coal? What the hell? Oh, for this guy. Right. This thing is not a stray puppy you can make into a pet. It has no business being here. Wouldn't you say the same of an apostate? Inquisitor, I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. And what is he? He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. What? It is a demon. If you prefer, although the truth is somewhat more complex. How complex? I'm not sure how much more complexity I need, Solus. <laughs> Indeed, my dear. He may call it whatever he likes, but it is still a threat. In fact, his nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solas. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But you claim Cole looks like a young man. Is it possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. And yet he appears human in all respects. Mm -hmm. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. Can you explain more about this possession? What do you mean by possession? Spirits and demons cross over from the Fade by attaching themselves to something in this world. But Cole has willfully manifested in human form without possessing anyone. The demons who came through the breach, or through the rifts, weren't possessing anything. These demons were drawn through against their will. Driven mad by this world. But Cole predates the breach. From what we can tell, he has lived here for months, perhaps years. He looks like a young man. For all intents and purposes, he is a young man. It is remarkable. Okay, I'll uh, talk to him. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? If none of us remember him. He could be anywhere. He was behind... Hmm. There he is. Haven. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Choking fear. Can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to... I'm dying. I I'm... Dead. Ouch. Okay. You're feeling their pain. It's louder this close. With so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yes, but here is where I can help. Every breath slower. Like lying in a warm bath. Sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. <laughs> Cracked brown pain. Dry. Scraping. Thirsty. Here. Thank you. 
It's all right. She won't remember me. Hmm. Solus tried to explain what you are, but honestly, I stopped <laughs> listening after a while. Any Jeez. chance you could explain it? Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends, too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. Okay, well, he's an interesting fellow, so I'm gonna keep him. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes, helping. I help the hurt, the helpless. There's someone. Hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. Shit. Okay. All right. Help him. It's all right. I want to stay. <laughs> 